jars for about over a year now. We started out at our angel tree tables, having the dip jars available for shoppers who wanted to adopt an angel, but didn't really want to go shopping. They just wanted to make a cash donation. What we did was we had those available in different increments and folks could just dip their card and, you know, go. They didn't have to worry about shopping for all the individual needs. We did this for the Christmas season and collected close to $4,000. We thought that was pretty great. They didn't need to take down any information, they didn't need to go to another site. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to collect more money than we would have had. The simplicity of making a donation, we could use year round. After Christmas, um, after the angel trees, we then put it in our family stores and used it there. And then for our annual banquet, we used it as a, also a giving um, tool for those who attended. We had a picture actually of the dip jar up on the screen and told folks to stop by the giving table on the way out. I was surprised at how many folks chose to give that way. We collected, you know, over a couple thousand dollars easy just using the dip jars at that one event. And so they're giving more frequently and I can't wait. This year we're excited because we are going to have our dip jars attached to the kettle. So many folks are going to a cashless way of giving. They don't have any cash on them. We've been seeing that challenge at the red kettles. So we know that having the dip jars attached, our revenue will continue to increase instead of decrease. I just know it's gonna be successful. What simpler way you know, is there to give to the Salvation Army? When you give folks the opportunity to give more, I mean, they will. Many folks in the development side of things, we say you have not because you've asked not. If you have multiple jars, why not put one that is a higher amount? Don't sell yourself short. At our annual event, our banquet, we're targeting an audience that uh, we're hoping for larger donations. So we started out at a $50 donation and went up to $500. And again, I was amazed at how many folks chose the 100 or the 500 and you know dipped multiple times. When you're giving with a credit card, you're gonna give a little bit more anyway. So make sure that those amounts are not uh, too low. Don't shortchange yourself. So on the red kettles, we're gonna start out with a $10 donation and see what that does because the kettles typically folks give a little bit less. Having a dip jar and being able to just dip and go with your donation, it makes it so much easier for the donor. You don't have to tediously write out all your numbers and give them the security code on the back and what you know zip code the card is mailed to or billing. Um, it just makes it super easy. And so we've seen that both at Angel Tree and at our annual banquet, and we can't wait to see it at the Red Kettle. If anyone is considering the dip jar and you really want to hear from somebody on the field, don't hesitate to you know email me. Um, Kimberly.jord at USS in the Southern Territory, USS.SalvationArmy.org. I don't mind taking your calls and letting you know how we've used them, um, but we are super excited to be taking it to the next level. We know that we're going to be able to hit our goal, making it easier to give.